the narcissist's greatest fear after they discard you. The narcissist thought the grass was greener on the other side. They thought they had found a bigger, better deal, their next shiny new toy. They thought they were finished with you. Because they drained you of everything you have. But then you started to build yourself back up. You started to make yourself better. And they may not regret losing you as a person, but they regret the treatment that they were getting from you. They miss how you were able to tolerate the abuse. You were able to put up with them. You made them feel relevant. You validated them. You provided them with a sense of security and stability. You were predictable. Which made them feel better. You were a good source of supply for them. But they took you for granted. And then you made yourself better. You moved on. And they were hurt and they found a new situation. But they don't find better situations. They find something that's the same or worse. But when you level up and become better, they're going to look back. They're going to wonder about how you did it. Because they thought they made a sound decision. They thought they made the right choice by leaving you. They never expected you to do better without them. Because you weren't doing that while you were with them. They don't realize that they were the reason why you couldn't progress and succeed. They don't realize that they were the problem. But they look back and they're shocked to believe that they were with you all along. They had the winning lottery ticket in their hands. But they threw it in the trash. Because you weren't successful while they were with you. But now things are going well for you. And this really is the narcissist's greatest fear after they discard you. It makes them envy you. It makes them jealous. It may not make them want you. But it makes them envy the person that you have become. It makes them desire to be you and to have the things that you have. Because you managed to progress and become a better person. You managed to find peace and happiness. But they couldn't do that. That's their greatest fear. They don't miss you. They don't want you. They don't regret losing you as a person. It's just because you found happiness. You found something that makes you feel good. Because if you look back, they never wanted you to feel good. They always tried to disrupt your happiness. They always tried to make you angry or upset. So that's really what they regret. Because they were with you. You were a part of their lives. And now they can't participate in what you're doing. They can't experience it along with you. They can't have a share of it. They can't have a piece of the pie. Because they were getting something while they were with you. They thought they could do better. But now you're doing even better. 
and I can't deal with it. It may look like they've moved on and they're doing better without you but things always look better from the outside you don't see what's really going on with them you don't see all of the issues and problems but they are experiencing the same things that they did with you the same things that they caused They just thought they could move on somewhere else and it would no longer affect them. Because they don't see the problems that they cause. But they will experience the same things wherever they go. Because they don't take accountability for their actions. They just run away to another situation expecting it to go away. While you move on and become better and stronger than when you were with them. So they envy you. They're jealous. Because they feel like they've lost something. They feel like it's unfair. So they become very bitter and resentful. Because they did so many things that they can't even come back. They burned the bridge. They know you're not going to accept them. They know they've done so many things that they can't even be around you anymore. They can't even look you in the eye. Because you don't want anything to do with them and it really gets to them. They hate being rejected and ignored by something that they think they should have. Because they had you before. So they think that you belong to them. And they see you progressing and becoming successful but you don't want anything to do with them. You don't want them to partake in the fruits of your labor. You may have been going to the gym and your body is looking tight, but you don't want them to touch it. You may have been working hard so you splashed out on a new house or a new car, but you don't want them to sit in it. You don't want them to partake and enjoy everything that you've worked hard for after what they did to you and that would affect anyone because you used to give everything to them but then you cut it off like they never existed and you don't care about what they're going through you don't care about how they feel even if they're not a narcissist that's still going to affect them. Because you used to do whatever they wanted. But now you won't even talk to them. You treat them as if they don't even exist. When they once had so much power over you. When they used to be in control. But now it's gone and it destroys them. They will try to move on because they've got to try to gain an advantage over you. They've got to try to do better. But because they're so resentful after losing you and missing out on everything that you've established, they can't build anything. They can't experience pleasure with anyone. Because all of that envy and hatred comes out on whoever they're with. Especially after they haven't made any improvements in their lives. And they see that you're doing better and you've moved on. They never expected that to happen. This isn't their first rodeo. They've done this before. They did it to their ex and their ex fell apart. They lay down and died. So they expected the same thing to happen to you. They didn't expect you to do better. They didn't expect you to move on. 
And that is why they can't move on. They can't move on knowing that you're out there somewhere. Doing better than when they were with you. It tears them apart. It makes them feel like they're missing out on something. It makes them feel like they made the wrong decision. And that is why they stalk you. That is why they're constantly watching what you're doing. They're watching how you're living. They're watching all of the good things you've got going on. Because they thought you would have lost it by now. They thought you would have stopped taking care of yourself. They thought you would have become irrelevant. But you're still doing what you've got to do. You're still going strong. You didn't let that situation define the rest of your life. But they were never there for you. They were only there for what they could get from you. And that is why you shouldn't feel bad for them. You shouldn't try to help them. Let them lay in the bed that they have made for themselves. Let them deal with the consequences of their own decisions and move forward. Because they're only going to take advantage of you. They're not going to give anything back to you. They only care about themselves. watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coach inquiries, you can email me at coach.labsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.